Theologian Gordon Wong said, Many churches today have lost lament as a major dimension of prayer and worship. We emphasize thanksgiving so much that we give the impression that God can only be worshipped by the happy soul or only by a person who feels full of praise. Because there's no room in the church for our negative experiences, we do not know how to respond when tragic events occur. It seems that we had no capacity for dealing with sadness. We have so much space for love, joy, praise, and supplication, but there's no room for sadness, brokenness, and questioning, as if that is tantamount to faithlessness. Because there's no room in the church for our negative experiences, not only are we ill-prepared to face tragedies, but friends, we also learn to deny our true feelings, and over time, that becomes a barrier in our relationship with God. So, this series is in line with our church's vision of being a spirit-filled, fervently praying church family particularly focusing on prayer as lament. Lament demonstrates faith in God rather than not. It is okay not to be okay, though we believe at the end everything will be okay. If not, it is not the end. But still, there is a process or journey to grieve and despair so that we may have true hope in God and not merely put up a show or deny our feelings. The Psalms of Lament gives us the vocabulary to pray to God when things are not okay. We will be looking at lament in tears, despair, anger, and darkness. And they will help us grow in our intimacy with God in a way that we can never experience God when things are going well. So friends, pray with us in this series. May you be blessed as we have been blessed in the preparation. Psalm 130, Out of the depths I cried out to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my cry. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. Amen.